Well, you're back with the National Real Estate Cafe again with Mr. Don Gatlin and Gino Franti, where you get your daily dose of real estate market updates. And I know this is going to get old, but gosh, we've only been talking about it since we started this show. However, not since we started the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show. You can check out more about that on donandgino.com. When we started that show, there was a lot of distress in the marketplace. That's though. true. And that was over five years ago, and the radio show is still running. Donandgino.com. Check it out. Over a thousand YouTube videos with great interviews with some of the top professionals across the country. From distress to success, I like to call it, because the real estate market has turned around, and here's why. Let's take a look at the slide. All right. So the first one, what's happening? Oh, that was a show way I was back just going to say, I remember that. <laughs> Barely, but I do remember it. <laughs> Well, let's have in the real estate market. So, a lot of the leading economists and real estate professionals converged in New Orleans. And what did they have to say? Well, let's see in this first slide here. Well, uh, first thing is Jonathan Smoke, with chief economist, Realtor.com, has said the same thing that we have been saying, that the millennials are back, baby. No, no, no. That's not what he said, Don. He said that demographics explain 60 to 80 percent of what happens. So when did I say this market was? Maybe about three months ago? Demographically cha challenged. Charged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even want to really admit to that. <laughs> and then, it's, okay, so then Lawrence Yoon, which we hear from quite a bit, says 84% of the current renters have the desire to own. That would be the pent-up demand that we're talking about. But 36% that don't believe they can afford a home, and 60% that believe it would be difficult. It's our job to educate you to say, you can do it. Reach out to a professional. We'll find you a way into a home, if not today, soon. All right, who else is talking? Well, L.A. May, heard of them? L.A. May's Vice President, Jonas Moe. Hey, Moe. <laughs> <laughs> Basically encouraged buyers to know their options before assuming that they can qualify. That kind of backs up what you were just saying, Gino. Well, it's one of those things where if you don't ask, you don't get, right? So you've just got to reach out to a professional. If you'd like, you can reach out to Don and I. The easiest way is donandgino at gmail.com or 855-DON-GINO. This is interesting. That National Multifamily Housing Council basically revealed that millennials and baby boomers are actually fighting for the same inventory. Yeah, because what's the problem is that some of the baby boomers are downsizing, and they're downsizing into apartments. Exactly. All right, so... Bottom line is, all the experts agree that all demographics are ready to buy a home right now. And that probably means you, but you need to know that you can qualify. Unfortunately, our industry blew, blew us all out of the water saying you can't get a loan anymore. And there's loans as low as zero down for our vets, almost zero down actually for almost anyone with certain bond programs, 3.5% FHA, flexibility with credit, flexibility with so much. There's ways to get you into a home, and you'll be surprised. If you did a net versus uh, net versus rent, rent versus own, that's it, rent versus own <laughs> sample, you'll find out that your net payments can be probably lower than what you're paying in rent. Forced savings account, appreciation, long-term net gains of 45 times that of a renter, great reasons to own a home. Check us out at nrecafe.com or text NREC to the number 58885 to get these every single day.